So guys, I owed you a video from last week and uh, this is a special occasion because I'm in Paris and I'm filming just in uh, Rue Cambon just across the street from uh, the famous flagship store from Chanel you can see that so bear with me, I will try to do some videos from uh, some perfume stores and I hope you'll join So probably most of you have heard of uh, the store Zovoy or Zovois. It's uh, in my humble opinion one of the best stores in the entire world if you want to purchase perfume. And we are just outside of this store right now. I think it's better if you don't see my face again and you will see the prestigious perfumes in this store. So bear with me, come inside. And here is the boutique. We start off with some candles and of course some perfumes. There are various brands, actually one of the best variety if you are looking for niche perfumes and exclusive perfumes around the world. And here are the Zovoa candles. And another section with some candles. And here are more candles of Zovois. These are beautiful candles by the way. I've tried them and they are amazing. So let's move on to the things I'm sure you are more interested in which are the perfumes and here is the new one the pavillon rouge all of them are from the brand of uh, Jovois or Jovoy what you prefer and this is the new one from Jerobon the affiliated brand of Jovois it's a floral, I think. And here are all the Jerobon. And all from the brand of Jobois. And these are some exclusives. I never seen them in another store. It's what matters is inside. And the other one is called Rose Millesime. So let's move on. I want you guys to see the incredible variety of fragrances here. And so many brands. This is Christian Provenzano, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And you have the Moresque here. And some new brands I never seen before because I'm visiting this store once or twice a year. Noble Royal and AG Arabia. Liquid Imaginaire. Nice fragrances as well. And Tamin, many people talk about this brand and their exquisite perfumes, I have to agree. And this is another one, I saw them initially when I visited Exense last year, it's Foa and it's inspired from palm trees. And Amorud. And a different company. So let's move on to the other sections. 
This is one of the exclusivities. It's a Fragrance Dubois. And I think you can find it in store only at their boutiques or Jovois around the world. And look at this stuff. Amazing brand. One of my favorite is uh, Oud Rouge. Uh, that's here, Oud Rouge. And Du Noir Intense. And Sahra Oud, of course, it's my scent of the day. And this one is inspired by music. I smell these fragrances, they are very, very beautiful fragrances. And uh, Welton, another brand, a friend of mine actually told me about, about this brand and I was a little bit blown away by iconic Amber Oud. Here it is. Uh, I don't know if it's, oh, it's focusing, okay. So let's move on to the other section. These are Frappin and Ormordain. And some uh, Histoire de Parfum. Here they are on the collection. And another brand I will uh, soon uh, make a review from uh, Metal Absolu, which is right here, one of my favorite metallic fragrances. Uh, French brand, very nice French brand. Uh, Jardin de France, it's called. And this is another one, La Maison Edonique. And really nice creations as well. I smelled them yesterday, to be honest. And this is one of my favorite affordable brands, LTP Vert. Really affordable fragrances and smelling great, which is the point here. So we continue with Another exclusivity and it's called Eyer and it's actually created from uh, the perfumer and owner of Parfum de Beer, Eschie Cortiziato, along with a friend of mine, Roberto Greco, a photographer. They collaborated and they created this amazing, like vintage smelling leather fragrance. It's so potent, it's gorgeous. And here is the artwork. Pecour. Andy Tower, of course. You can't go wrong with Andy Tower. You have Andy Tower here. And this is Isabe. Another great brand. Corner Barcelona. Lark. Very, very nice brand. Gorgeous fragrances. Of course, Nila Vermeer. MDCI, amazing brand. I think you know some of the most popular. Anvansion Barbar, for example. The Barbershop Masterpiece. Mask Milano. Very well known as well. Chabot. There are tons of brands. That's why I'm making this video because I'm sure you will be blown away with the variety and it's not so easy to come and visit the boutique you have to be in Paris so I'm trying to do my best for you, my subscribers Nobile 1942 great, great, great brand and Mikalev and Lubin one of my favorite brands, Idol and uh, Corrigan, great fragrance, Corrigan is a great fragrance, and uh, Le Gaillon, another great brand, Hate and Bob, and let's move on, we have Ranyaji, you know these are some super potent fragrances, animalic, most of them. Anything that is more on the 
and Antonio Alessandria. Usually I buy Iris stuff, but not and let's move on to the main section here in the middle of the store. And we have Alexandre Z. It reminds me a lot of Montal, but I kind of prefer this brand more than Montal. House of Wood, of course. These gorgeous bottles. So many of them. And the section I'm sure most of you would be excited, it's the Rosa Dove section with probably all of their offerings. Let's see, let's take a closer look. Perfect. All the soldiers here. And of course, besides is Sergeov. One of my favorite brands, great offerings. I am not sure if they have their latest uh, exclusive yet here in store because some of them are only sold online. So I can be very accurate and specific about the new ones like the Uden Overdose or the Mephisto Gentiluomo, I think. And this is Kemi, also an affiliated brand, the Surge of brand. One of my favorite is uh, Tempest, which is uh, an attar, but now they have uh, Extra de Parfum also. My video from uh, Top 20 Fall, I've mentioned Tempest. Uh, here are the attars of Surge of, of their XJ, I think, line. And this is the duo, Amber Star and Star Mask. And here, are, here is the oldest presentation. We continue with Nasomato. And there's the Venustas. Great brand, great brand. And another one, haven't seen that before, Bejim or Bejim S Strike the Notes. Gorgeous bottles, actually. Arte Profumi, an Italian brand. Another one, many people are raving about. Affinescence, very potent and luxurious fragrances. And Olfactive Studio. And their new creations. Jules Mad. Great offerings from this brand as well. And look at this presentation. This is Garuda. Here we have the Amoise section, obviously. And look at this presentation, guys. The display is gorgeous. Look at that stuff. The library collection. All the famous ones. Tubulation, of course, one of the best fragrances from this house. And Epic, my second favorite from this line. My first is Lyric. And here's the presentation and the display. You can obviously realize that are out of this world, guys. You have to visit this store, absolutely. And Tiziana Terenzi, of course, you can go wrong with Tiziana Terenzi. And many offerings. These are some oils, actually, I think. And some other gorgeous bottle. 
and more Tiziana Terenzi of course. Adano Nero is somewhere here, one of the most popular. And Clive Christian of course. Many offerings, many good offerings from Clive Christian. I know it's a little bit more expensive side, but they are great offerings, most of them, especially the earliest ones. Great display here. I'm sure the camera doesn't do justice, but it's really gorgeous. And Profumum Roma as well, of course. And this is a more private uh, place inside the store when they used to do some gatherings and presentations. You have some other stuff here as well. More private zone. And of course, the unicorn. The fragrance that used to be Iris Gris and now is uh, Iris de Fat. And yes, this is one of the masterpieces and one of the best iris perfumes ever created. And now it's recreated and I smelled it and it's quite close to Iris Cri. Le Monarch. Atelier des Ors, of course. Pure Distance. And another presentation and display of Fragrance du Bois. With the wood chips here. This brand, they use some from their sustainable proprietary wood plantations. So you have real wood here. Great brand, great brand for sure. Some boys, 1920. And LAK, BDK, Familia Familia, another one I really, I'm really not aware. Scan eccentric molecules and Atelier des Ors. And last but not least, Parfum d'Empire. Great display, one of my favorite brands. I hope you liked it from the interior. It's a great boutique, you can see like a panoramic view. I hope I can do some justice because it's super beautiful. Now we'll have Caroline talk about the new perfumes, one of from Jovoy and uh, one from Jeroboam. Hi everyone, I'm with uh, Adilos here at Jovoy and we wanted to present you the last creation of the house Jovoy, uh, which name is Pavillon Rouge. So uh, Pavillon Rouge can be translated into red flag. It's really the inspiration of the pirates and when they hang the, the red uh, flag on their uh, boat it means no quarter, it means that they will just massacre you. Uh, this perfume is in the idea of the pirates but be Okay, don't worry, it's uh, very nice on the skin and very uh, inspired by this uh, pirate's universe. So you have, of course, the whiskey, uh, the woody side uh, and spices that reminds of the boat and the spices that were traveling on the boat. Uh, you have also some um, vetiver, of course. And this perfume was made by uh, Marie Schneider, uh, who is a young, talented nose from uh, Maelstrom Parfum Perfume. So here also you can see uh, the shot we took uh, for the, the campaign. So really to uh, enhance the rum, coffee, tobacco notes. Uh, a little bad boy uh, for all the uh, woody, spicy, strong uh, perfume lovers. So this is Pavillon Rouge. You, you must check it out. 
and uh, we wanted also to show you the last creation of Jeroboam, who is, uh, which is the second brand that was created by uh, François Hénin. So as you can see, uh, Boa, uh, it means uh, she in Ukrainian. Uh, how was born Boa? Uh, Boa actually is, a, is some project we made with our uh, Ukrainian distributor. Uh, lime perfume and uh, they have Parfum Bureau and this perfume was created to uh, represent the Ukrainian woman. So they ask uh, talented uh, artists in their country, women that came to their store, uh, what could represent the, the Ukrainian woman, what smell uh, should it be. And then Vanina Morachol, who is the nose behind all the Joe Wan perfumes, she created Boa. It's a beautiful white floral, of course musky because this is the the, the line and the, the signature of the Jeroboam line, so very musky, but really, really beautiful white flower bouquet. And Boa means her, so it's at first was created by the Ukrainian, Ukrainian woman, sorry, but it's really, really for all the women. So you should definitely check this out also. Thank you, everyone. So that's it, guys. That is the mini vlog from uh, Jeroboa, from France, from Paris, one of the most prestigious and one of the greatest perfume stores in the world. If you are in Paris, you definitely need to visit this store. I'm in Antwerp and look who I ran into, <laughs> Mr. Steven Wanzele. Wanzele? Yep. Fragrance with Steve. Fragrance with Steve. If you are not already a subscriber, I don't know what you were thinking. Fragrance with Steve. <laughs>
Likewise, but so that was it. My uh, the end of my short trip to Paris for perfume formulating and of course uh, meeting with great great friends of mine. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and till the next one. Cheers.